We're back. So, we're on the mountain right now? Yeah. So, what I want to show is... It's icy up here. Here, guys? Interesting that there's stone. Oh, okay. there's two of them. Ah, that's the thing. Two? Connecting? Two opened. Ah, okay. So in order for us to do no, this one... Important. Uh, yeah, so this is what I did last time. Right. Mm -hmm. Did these people turn to stone or something? Turned? Yeah, because it looks like, um, this, so, I thought before maybe it was like some statues, but this scene here, it looks like they were doing something. They're in the middle of some action, uh, and they turn into stone. Like, especially when I see them carrying the box that we've been working with this whole time. These contraptions. I don't know, but there's... I think there's two listening. Uh, so there's a guy who's the leader. I have no idea why he's in here. Why he's struggling. Uh, there's two people arguing. How could you do this? It's not me. Uh, well, he holding the book with, like, a purse or something. I don't know. How's that guy? Also, there's this thing. Chisels. Chisels to, to shape the stone. This guy's directing it. And there's a girl. This oh, guy's okay. recording it. I think it's a girl. It's a girl. Because that's hers. Okay. Up there, okay, you go around, around every hour around. and a half, time after time after time. You wake up usually in the mornings, and just the way that the track of your orbits go, you wake up over the Mideast, over North Africa. As you eat breakfast, you look out the window as you're going past, and there's the Mediterranean area, and Greece, and Rome, and North Africa, so and the Sinai, astronaut. the whole area. And you realize that in okay. one glance, that what you're seeing is what was the whole history of man for years, the cradle of civilization. And you go Let's around down we across know North Africa and out over the Indian Ocean and look yeah, up at the great that. subcontinent of India, pointing down toward you as you go past it. And Ceylon off to the side, Burma, Southeast Asia, out over the Philippines, and up across that monstrous Pacific Ocean, vast body of water. You've never realized how big that is before. And you finally come up across the coast of California and look for those friendly things, Los Angeles and Phoenix and on across El Paso. And there's Houston, there's home. And you look and sure enough, there's the Astrodome. And you identify with that, you know, it's an attachment and down across New Orleans, and then looking down to the south, and there's the whole peninsula of Florida laid out. And all the hundreds of hours you spent bit. flying across that route, to. down in the atmosphere, all that is friendly again. And you go out across the Atlantic Ocean and back across Africa, and you do it again and again and again. And that identity, that you identify with Houston, and then you identify with Los Angeles, and Phoenix, and New Orleans, and everything. And the next thing you recognize in yourself is you're identifying with North Africa. You look forward to that. You anticipate it. And there it is. That whole process begins to shift of what it is you identify with. When you go around it in an hour and a half, you begin to recognize that your identity is with that whole thing. And that makes a change. You look down there, and you can't imagine oh, yeah, how many right borders and boundaries you crossed again and again and again. And you don't even see them. At that wake-up scene, the Mideast, 
You know there are hundreds the of one people for the killing theater. each other okay. over some imaginary line that you can't see. From where you see it, the thing is a whole, and it's so beautiful. And you wish you could it's take so one from each side in hand and say, look at it from this perspective. Look at that. What's important? And so a little later on, your friend, again, those same neighbors, another astronaut, the person next to you goes out to the moon. And now he looks back and sees the Earth, not as something big where he can see the beautiful details, but he sees the Earth as a small thing out there. And now that contrast between that bright blue and white Christmas tree ornament and that black sky, that infinite universe, really comes through. Nice. The size of it, the significance of it, it becomes both things. It becomes so small and so fragile, and such a precious little spot in that universe there, so there. that you can block so it out with your thumb. You and you realize mm -hmm. that on that mm -hmm. small spot, that little blue and white thing is everything that means anything to you. All of history and music and poetry and art and war and death and birth and love, tears, joy, games, all of it is on that little spot out there that you can cover with your thumb. And you realize that that perspective, that you've changed, that there's something new there, that relationship is no longer what it was. And then you look back on the time when you were outside on that EVA and those few moments that you had the time because the camera malfunctioned, that you had the time to think about what was happening. And you recall staring out there at the spectacle that went before your eyes. Because now you're no longer inside something with a window looking out at a picture. But now you're out there and what you've got around your head is a goldfish bowl and there are no limits here. There are no frames. There are no boundaries. You're really out there, over it, floating, going 25,000 miles per hour, ripping through space, a vacuum, and there's not a sound. There's a silence, the depth of which you've never experienced before. And that silence contrasts so markedly with the scenery and the speed mm -hmm. with which you know you're going. That contrast, the mix of those two things, really comes through. And you think about what you're experiencing and why. Do you deserve this? This fantastic experience? Have you earned this in some way? Are you separated out to be touched by God to have some special experience here that other men cannot have? You know the answer to that is no. There's nothing that you've done that deserves that, that earned that. It's not a special thing for you. You know very well at that moment, and it comes through to you so powerfully that you're the sensing element for man. You look down and see the surface of that globe that you've lived on all this time, and you know all those people down there. They are like you. They are you. And somehow you represent them when you are up there. A sensing element, that point out on the end and that's a humbling feeling. Mm -hmm. It's a feeling that says you have a responsibility. It's not for yourself. I don't know how I solved that. The eye that doesn't see does not do justice to the body. That's why it's there. I did totally. That's why you're out there. And somehow you recognize that you're a piece of this total life. You're out on that mm -hmm. forefront and you have to bring that back somehow. And that mm -hmm. becomes a rather special responsibility. Mm -hmm. It tells you something about your relationship with this thing we call life. And when you come back, there's a difference in that world now. There's a difference in that relationship between you and that planet, and you and all those other forms of life on that planet, because you've had that kind of experience. It's a difference, and it's so precious. And all through this, I've used the word you because it's not me, it's not Dave Scott, it's not Dick Gordon, Pete Conrad, John Glenn. It's you. It's us. It's we. It's life. It's had that experience. And it's not just my problem to integrate. 
It's not my challenge to integrate, my joy to integrate. It's yours. Oh, this not right. It's everybody's. I don't remember how to solve it. Russell Schweikart, 1975. No. It was pretty cool. It's an astronaut thing. Uh, it just sounds a lot like uh, I kind of zoned out halfway through. <laughs> but, because it's, it's pretty long. For me, it sounded like you have to... Love if, the planet. If, if it was there, it sounds like you have to do puzzle, come back, to see what's happening. Solve the thing, come back, see what's happening like that. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, maybe it doesn't really make sense. Just talking. I don't remember how I solved it last time. Oh my God, well, it took me forever. You, came, I think you came. And, and then I solved it. I thought it was like you don't have to put two and two together. Mm, no, you have to. I know you don't. Yeah, but I mean, it's too hard. You zoomed through all the other ones. You should open a uh, desert laptop. Go to here. <laughs> oh, is that the one you screenshot when we solved it the first I, time? No, not the screenshot. Um, I just go walk to it. Oh, I think you just did it. Yeah, you can cut it off and cut it off again. Yes. Yeah. Wow. I remember my, now. I my remember. brain. Do you remember this? No, I don't remember the answer. <laughs> How you said you remember this and then you said you don't? Well, you just solved it. <laughs> okay, so this one, we know how to solve it now. No, we did not. Didn't we solve it last time, like, or do I have to do? Because I don't think you have to do it right away. Oh, you do. Can I solve from here? But all of that is red, isn't it? Uh huh, that's right. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's not this one, I think it's blue. You have to go through the blue glass. You sure? Yeah. Okay, charm. This is charm, charm. And. Mm -hmm. Was it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Down here. And then the other one's the two of them. Blue and Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. Remember it? Jordan, Jordan. Yeah. Like this? Mm hmm. And then. Mm hmm. The corner, all three of those is there together. Like that. And I remember this one. that water one so easily. That one was giving me so much trouble. That wasn't right? Yeah. <laughs> was it like this? Mm -hmm. Well, they didn't get Ah, why? I didn't even see the white. So 
here? I don't know what happened. You did this without me. There were like a bunch of elevators and we didn't know how to change it and then it got stuck. No, it's like here that it got stuck. Oh my so god. So blue. Hurts my eyes. Can we go down a floor? Colors are interpreted differently depending on the floor. Yeah. Okay. And we needed to jump it up one more floor. We couldn't. Should they like turn it around? Oh, it doesn't make sense to turn it around. So this one. It's too dark? Yeah. Oh, okay, it's very just can see. Mm -hmm. okay, this is green. So the next floor can't take us there. I couldn't do that, right? No, we solved it. What happened no. is it just lights up the wrong one. We want to look at this floor. Why don't they just rebuild the stairs? It would be easier. Ha ha ha. He he he. We separate. Okay. How? How do we separate? I don't know. Is it possible? How do we know what the next one would be? How did you go back down? I just turned any path. Oh, you did any path? Mm -hmm. doesn't seem to be a pattern to how they change. Oh, but... <laughs> what 
white is the color. Uh, Green. One, two, three, four. On the five star? This one? I don't know. This no, one's green. On the five star. I don't know. This one. I don't remember. Is it also blue? Because if it is, we can check what color is. Oh, you mean from the previous floor? Oh, from the next floor. Like, look at it from here. I think you're right, that's a really smart idea. Where am I going? Okay. Perfect. I think that's exactly what it is. We have to keep track of which one is perfectly blue and just do the same one again if that's how we skip. This one separates the top three. No, the next one's very green. Uh -huh. The floor above that is yellow. If yellow hides the yellow ones, can we do this? No, I just did that, didn't I? <laughs> That's where we are now. We need different colors, glasses. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we could. But it should be in the game, right? Yeah. It's green. It doesn't like it. Next one is yellow. Mm -hmm. The white's gonna change, and the blue gonna change. Uh -oh. I was thinking, do you want to break it so that we can watch how they change again? Can you go? I can go from this floor downstairs. Yeah. Need to figure out. Can you look through the glass? This one has green light and blue light, and it does something to it. If we go, so let's go down. The one below is going to be blue, and then blue and red, and then red. So if we fail, this is going to be all blue light. When it's all blue, blue becomes white. Look at this. Oh my god. Well, it's, I don't know. When it's blue and red, we see blue and red. When it's only red, if we want to go to yellow, these ones are red and yellow. On the red floor, it disappears. This is probably gonna be yellow. Which ones? These All ones? Of them. These? No, these ones are gonna be a different color. Like green or something. You mean do something like this? 
Um, well. On the blue and red floor, we see blue and red. On the blue floor, <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> On the blue floor, we don't see blue. On the green floor, we see green, blue, and white. On the yellow floor, we wouldn't see... We wouldn't see yellow. Maybe these will change. Oh. Solved a different puzzle. Oh my god, we've been here for 26 minutes. What's happening? How would you predict this? I get goosebumps when I think. Oops. <laughs> it's actually just how it works. I'm a thinker. You enjoy how you think? <laughs> yeah, goosebumps. Yeah. <laughs> and and something in the room. It could be. I was thinking that maybe. Fruits. Yeah. This has blue. This only shows blue and nothing. What if we just separate blue from everything else? You're a smart boy. <laughs> <laughs> Where's goosebumps? Oh, there you are. Oh, you're smart it's boy. It's from my own intelligence. <laughs> Oh, it's actually the last one. Don't you... Did she just open this? No, don't you go on the next floor, there's the opening. Ah. You are right. <laughs> All right, I am right. Oh no, this is the same one we just solved. What do you mean? You literally just solved this puzzle. No, it's not. When did I do that? This is the same one that was downstairs. Is it? Mm hmm. Uh, it can't be the same. This is the meaning. Can you say truth? Ah, there you go. What? You solved it before. We saw exactly this pattern. Woohoo! That was really fast. Yeah, that was a pretty good. That's a pretty good episode. Except for the other garbage ones that we've done. Pretty fast. Uh huh. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. All right. So, 
I think it's the last one for today. Um, and tomorrow and forever. No, no, we have a <laughs> lot more that we can do. What color? Uh, red. No, pink. Yeah. Was it yellow? I wonder if they made it a really slow animation so that you'd be like, yes, I did it. And just have time to relax and think, wow, look how green we are. Orange. Green. Blue. No. No. Now it's going to turn around. That spinning thing is a like an engine to turn it around. That make, no, it makes me <laughs> nervous to stare down the barrel. Yeah. I wonder why that one in the desert is shooting off in the wrong direction. I feel like we have to go back underneath and uh, fix it. And fix it. Because it looks like there was another room. What's that color? Yellow. How did you know? I said pink. You said yellow. Oh. <laughs> How did I know? Okay, where are we going? Now you just go back down. Uh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't we just want to go down one level? Or can you get off while it's moving? Which ones are blue last time? I have no idea. The yellows. No, there's two pink ones. I think it was the three. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Abort. Yeah, just come here. Can I do a while it's moving? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Not bad. Got another laser going. I want to fix that that desert one eventually. I think it's a good good place to stop okay. up here where we can see the whole world in the palm of our hand. Oh, isn't she supposed to hold the... Goblet? Yeah. Probably. Okay, cool. Good progress. See everyone Bye. next time.